Hi, I'm Sheila Shemaine. Welcome to my channel. And yes, you guys, I'm fixing to do this makeup tutorial. I just done a video on this CC cream from Santee. Um, I have this on my face right now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put on my makeup and see how it looks with makeup on. So I use this product. That's all I have outside of my moisturizer and my eye cream and my brow cream color from MAC. So yeah. So now let's begin with the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. Y'all know I like to start with my eyes first. So I'm going to use Flawless Touch eye primer from femme couture you can get this at sally beauty supply i'm going to use this and just prime my eyelids for eyeshadows i think i forgot no i didn't i thought i forgot my uh eyeshadow palette i will be using that um miss rose professional makeup kit eyeshadow so that's what i have in mind and normally you guys i never put on my foundation before i um do my eyes but i want to show that video first as to how it will look so now i'm going to go ahead uh so this is going to be kind of strange because i normally have a lot of fallout when i do my eyes but hopefully it won't be too bad I'm going to use the Milani Brow, Eye, Brow and Eye Highlighters in 01 Matte Beige and High Glow. Okay, I think I'm going to use the, the Matte Beige because, like I said, with my eyebrows uh, growing out and everything, uh, I need to cover that to the best of my ability. I don't always like that. Um look i prefer a luminous type of look underneath my brows so yeah i'm trying to get used to this i don't care for a matte look underneath my brows or on my brow bone because i just think it looks too too harsh underneath my brows but it could be pretty but just I don't know. I've just been doing it the other way around. So, yeah. I'm just going to kind of like do this really fast like. I'm not going to take too much time on doing this. That's just how I do everything, you guys. I know having to look this way and turn that way i've got to get me a table where i can put my camera and my lighting right in front of it so you guys i'm in search of a table that i would like but the thing is like i said with my space area i do not have a whole lot of space so i wouldn't even know where i would put it unless i take this vanity somewhere and get and put the table over here so that's probably what i'm gonna have to do though so now what i'm gonna do you guys and i'm gonna take a from this estee lauder palette i'm gonna take this brown here and i'm gonna mix it with this white so it'd be like a light brown color um underneath my eyes here and i don't know i might need another brush you guys i don't know what i use that brush for let me just go ahead and use this this one here hopefully it's gonna turn out the way that i want it to turn out hopefully it's so late here it's not super late but i'm used to doing this when it's lighter so i can see I can see, but you know how it is if you wait till the evening time. It's like, oh, I hope these colors are looking the same way as I see them. I'm just going to use my fingers and blend that. Okay, yeah, that works just as good. And 
Yeah. And it works just as good. Sorry, y'all, for using that finger. <laughs> just trying to get it done uh, as fast as I can. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I didn't think to bring a... I knew I was going to forget something. I always do. I forgot to use a uh, base. I do like to use a base on my eyes. However, I'll just go with the flow. Okay. All right. Using the palette that I've been talking about, you guys. This palette. The Miss Rose um, Professional Makeup Kit 24. Shiny 24 Color Wet Eyeshadow um, Palette. I'm just loving this palette, you guys. It looks like this. One more time, I'm just going to show you. Okay. I'm going to use this palette, and I have no idea what colors I'm going to use. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the flow. I never know what I'm going to do until I get started. I never. So I'm just going to um, go into this lighter brown shade this shade here and mmm these shadows smell so good you guys it smells like fresh roses I love it the first time like I told y'all the first time that I got ready to use it I was like my head wanted to hurt just a little bit but I just think that I wasn't used to it so now that I've been using it for a few days, it's not bad at all. I don't have a headache anymore. Uh, it don't even bother me anymore. So maybe it was just the first time using something different that has such a uh, rose smell or something. I don't know. But it doesn't bother me now. So. I don't have a problem with it. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Now what I'm going to do is going to be very, very simple. This is probably going to look like more of a natural look. gonna take that's how it's looking I'm sorry I can't look that way but like I said I'm looking for a table so that I can be faced you guys while I'm doing everything like my very first tutorial however I did I didn't have lighting at that time so yeah it's much better with lighting okay I think I'm just gonna you know what I'm gonna go with something vivid something beautiful I'm gonna take this blue shade I was gonna go natural but I'm gonna go with something a little bit more vivid so I'm gonna use this shade right here it's like a blue I don't know we'll see what how it looks and I'm gonna take this all see how wet it looks you guys I have no uh water you saw me just put that right in the shadow I mean oh my goodness I just love this palette. It's like one of my favorite palettes lately. I love it. It's just so beautiful. One of my favorite palettes. Yes, indeed, you guys. I love it. And it doesn't take a whole lot. You can get done pretty fast. So, there's my eyeshadow. Look how fast that is. I mean, the colors are just so vibrant. Just put it on and you're like done. Look at that. Just how simple and easy that is all 
All right, we got our blue shade on. So what now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something kind of different. Might be a little strange to some people. I'm going to take, that's one thing about palettes like this. You just explore with colors in the summer. I love to I'm take this shade and I'll put it in my inner corner here up and blend it in. I'm gonna take this shade here, this blue shade. Okay. And I have a mirror right here, you guys, that's going to help me to do this. Because I feel like it's darker over here on this side. I, like I said, it's just moving around. It could be not so fun, in my opinion. And that's one thing I do with this palette is that it's just that I love to create like these cool, really vibrant looks. It doesn't bother me uh, to wear really cool shades or really vivid shades. I mean, it's summer now and it doesn't bother me to wear looks or to create eye looks that look like this it doesn't bother me at all i actually love the way that it looks it's different it's cool it's summery you know just that summery look i love it okay this is how it's looking so far. Hold on for just a minute. I got one eye. Thought I did. Make sure that they're even. This is how it's looking so far. Like this. I'm going to go back in with that gray. This is actually like a gray color, you guys. I thought it was blue, but it's actually gray. Uh, so I'm going to go back in with that gray shade deepen it up a little bit all right so now what I'm gonna do this is house looking just like that so now I'm going to take a deeper shade and I'm going to take this like a, this is like a deeper gray shade. It's this color right here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to work this into the corner over here. Just a little bit. Just work that into the corner over here on the side same thing over here work it over here on this corner side just starting that corner color I'm going to blend it and all that good stuff here in a minute that's how it's looking right now I'm fixing to blend this now <laughs> Alright, just let me get done. First, put my colors on. That's just the way I like to do everything. I'm going to take a little small brush like this, like an eyebrow brush, but I'm using it to do my corner color. Uh, I'm loving those six plus brushes. 
I looked online and saw that there were more brushes that will be okay all right you guys what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this right here because I know my camera is gonna cut off here in a minute or two so this is how it's looking and I will come right back right here where I'm at and we'll finish this makeup look okay so y'all stay tuned keep watching I'm coming back okay bye bye <laughs> <Mwah. laughs>